Miss H here again. In this video, I want to show you how to draw oxygen, the hybrid filling diagram for it. The reason why I want to show you this is because it has lone pairs and it's going to have a pi bond now. We can count the number of steric regions. There are three steric regions around each oxygen atom. Three of them. There it goes. And so that means that it's going to be trigonal planar. A trigonal planar molecule, and we're going to need to have uh, three hybrid platforms. So if I were to look at oxygen without hybridizing it, I'd have 1s2, 2s2, 2p4, and what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to take these platforms and I'm going to need to hybridize them. I need to have three hybrid platforms because I have a steric region, three steric regions. So I need to have S, P, two. One S and two P's gives me three. But I also have a double bond. So that means I'm gonna to need to be having electrons in my leftover P orbital. As always, the one S two orbital is going to stay the same. So what I've done is I've taken the six electrons, one, two, three, four, five, six, that appear in the valence, and I've put them into the sp2 hybrid orbitals, one, two, three, four, five, and I put the last one in the p orbital. We can see here that I've got a lone pair and a lone pair, and these lone pairs correspond to these lone pairs on the oxygen. I've just duplicated that. Oops. To show you that I'm gonna have two oxygen molecules that have exactly the same hybridization. Now in terms of the bonding that's gonna go on, they need to have a single sigma bond representing the first bond of the double bond. And they're also going to need to have a single pi bond representing the second bond in that double bond. And that's how you would draw the hybrid structure of oxygen.